what's up ladies and gentlemen it's the real deal here once again coming at you live from oklahoma i'm just playing but how we doing so uh i just got done recording another vlog but i figured i've got about 20 minutes of of uh footage left on my sd card and here lately i've been kind of spotty on when i can record and when i can't so i figured i'm gonna go ahead and knock out two birds with one stone uh and this this can be a quick topic all right but i wanted to talk about why i do not like and i do not recommend hid headlights so a popular thing back in my day i'm just kidding but a popular thing to do to your sport bike or to your street bike is throw a hid kit on it holy crap i was just now averaging 100 miles per gallon it's insane y'all thought about it but i wasn't about to be a bad influence i can see jet trying to race his first race. Hold on guys, we have a little bit of a hold up here. I was going to say earlier, I was thinking the same thing when I was going to do my first wheelie. I was like, I don't want to be a bad influence. Well, I mean, if I instigate a race, that's a little worse. In town especially. Yeah. All right, so back to what I was saying. So a popular thing to do to your street bike is like I said, throw on an HID kit. And uh, I, I used to think it was cool. Don't get me wrong, it still makes your, your bike stand out. You know, you've got these bright light blue or almost a, a you know, a, just a bright white headlight. And uh, it does look nice. But in my experience, every HID kit that I've gotten as well as uh, people that I've talked to that have had HID kits, they always end up malfunctioning in some way. So a lot of times what will happen is the, um, just the ballast will quit igniting the bulb. Now, I mean, you know, I never really cared to look into it. It could be because maybe the bulb was going bad or, uh, you know, sometimes you just run into wiring issues, but that's to me it's just they take up a lot of space and you got to wire them in you got to find a spot to velcro them there's there are these two big ugly square boxes that you got to hide somewhere on your bike it just adds bulkiness and um i you know I, i'm not a fan of just wiring up stuff on my bike anymore i used to be i used to have all kinds of leds and halos and uh, hid kit and stuff on my on my r6 and then i kind of grew out of that but yeah the main thing is just the wiring it gets messy the hid boxes they get the ballast you know they get bulky and after a while they just stop working anyway so why waste the money but i figured that's a quick little quick little video for you guys and uh, that's really all i got not much more to say that but you guys comment down below let me know what you think and uh also here's a little tidbit last little tidbit here we are almost or maybe even at this point in time at 100 subscribers so i just want to shout all of you guys out and thank you for uh my my fans that i've obtained so far i appreciate you guys for uh subbing and liking and commenting and whatnot so i appreciate y'all just wanted to give you guys thanks and a shout out but all right guys that's it peace out <laughs>